What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel and of course welcome to some Horizon 5 once again and uh, yeah as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video we got a brand new car again and it's another Ferrari uh, so obviously there was a list of cars that were released a couple of weeks back saying what cars will be coming out with the car pass so all car pass holders will be getting this car or all of these cars weekly so every single time a week changes there will be a brand new car added into the game for car pass holders so this week, we have a, another Ferrari. Obviously, last week we had one, which was the Ferrari... Where is it? This one? The J50. 2017 J50. Made a video on it. It was very, very cool. Today, we have a Monza SP2. And this is a very cool car. It's like a one-off build. And I, I know there's a super, super limited amount of cars actually made available. With the... Uh, oh, it's so cool. I, I don't really want it in black, but at the same time... The black and red just looks so good together. I kind of want to get it in black just because of, of what it looks like. I definitely do like the more brighter colors or whatever for, for this thing. So I could possibly try to get it in like a yellowy color. You know, yellow in this game just looks very washed out for some reason. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get it in just the, the good old black for now. The other thing is, like I said, it just hides a lot of details. I, I usually say this about black hairs a lot. Um, especially in video games. I mean, in person, if you're going and you see the car in person... Uh, black is, is kind of nice, but I feel like black on cars, it, it all depends. It all depends on the type of car that it is. Um, but obviously, the, the wheels and everything, it accents really nicely with the black on this car, and I kind of like that. Uh, obviously, look at those absolutely crazy doors. Again, it's a super, super, super special car, this. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't know if you can open anything the front end uh, with this thing. The back end, you can probably open. Can you? No, you can't open anything else. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, you can open it. It's just a different area. There you go. It's it's brilliant looking car. So, so, so good looking. But yeah, I actually kind of like it. It's not even like fully black. It's like a, a really dark-ish grey. It's not like full-on black. But there's a lot, a lot of detail gone into into this thing. And it looks great because of that. Let's, uh, let's hop in really quick here and have a look. Full of carbon fibre. City position is really high for whatever reason that is. Um, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Uh, yeah, let's let's turn this song on. Let's let's just hear what it sounds like. Come down, Jesus! All right. Is that the same engine noise that they use for the LFA? That sounds very, very weird. That sounds really, really weird. <laughs> Is that the same engine noise that they ended up using for the for the Lexus LFA? I'm, I'm a bit confused here. It's got a six and a half liter. I'm pretty sure it's a six and a half liter V12, right? 800 horsepower. Let me try something really quick here. Let me swap. I think I have one. Uh, Lexus LFA. It's really, really similar. It's definitely not the same, but it's really, really, really similar. That was weird. I was gonna say, I cannot believe that they use, like, proper, like, recycled sound again, but it actually doesn't... It, it's not the same. It's not the same. It is very, very similar, though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different, but it's just, like I said, it's super, super similar. Super, super raspy. I need to turn that music off. Oh. I need to turn that music off just so I can listen to this thing. It is such a cool car. It's such a weird look as well, like without the windscreen or anything like that. It just makes it look so, so good. It's a very, very, very cool car. I always like these, and they're always super, super rare. I mean, I don't know if you, I'd ever get to see one of these in person. That's what it should sound like on the inside. 
Oh, it's such a weird experience driving this thing. I sound so good on the inside. That V12 is glorious. Revving past 9,000 RPM? Oh my god! Yeah, the outside is super, super raspy. The inside, the inside just sounds amazing with this thing. <laughs> it would probably be a lot more, um, <laughs> a lot more wind noise than what I've heard. But I think like the if they ended up doing that, it just it would sound really, really poor. Like it would just sound really, really bad. All right then, let's have a look and see what we can do to this thing. What well, stop speed of this thing? What, what's that say? Let's let's bring it on the highway and actually have a look. I'll test it out instead of uh, looking at stats. But 800 horsepower in this thing. Um, Obviously, it's not going to be a very heavy car. I'm pretty sure the whole thing is built out of carbon fiber, if I remember correctly. Um, I've read about this thing ages ago, like a really long time ago. So probably, yeah, 1,500 kilos, 800 horsepower, 790 newton meters of torque. Um, still the same, six and a half liter. Uh, I think the all of these ones, so this has the six and a half liter. I'm pretty sure it's the same engine that we have in the super fast. It has the same amount of torque as well. But I think this has just a tiny bit more power. Definitely a different exhaust system. Uh, that, if I can change the exhaust on this thing, I want to make it so it's a little less raspy. I want to make it sound more like a V12 than like the LFA, which is what it sounds like now. Top speed of this thing, over 200 miles per hour. Imagine doing this speed without a t I mean, good thing I'm wearing a helmet, because I swear my face would just be absolutely ruined. Could you imagine the amount of flies now on like my visor of my helmet? <laughs> if this was real life. Two thirty. It's it's quick. It's very quick. It's such a good looking car. I love the really long like bonnet. It's so so nice. I love the shape. Okay. So I'm going to guess maybe around 236, 237. Probably top speed of this thing. This is not insanely fast. Ooh, maybe even a 240, 241. Okay. 241 miles per hour top speed with this thing. That's not too bad. And it handles quite well too, as you guys uh, should have seen. Right, let's uh, let's add some parts to it. Let's, let's modify this thing. Obviously, I'm not going to keep this thing stuck because, I mean, that'll just be boring. The whole purpose of this game is to modify crazy cars that you can't actually uh, get in real life. So front engine, rear wheel drive as usual. If I twin turbo this, it now makes 978 horsepower. Um, obviously all that is increased. Definitely don't want to put any Forza air on this thing because it'll just look disgusting. Um, as for the wheels, I'm probably going to give it some better tires um, than what it has now. I mean, I kind of want this to get this thing to handle a lot better. I don't really want to take this thing out drifting, to be completely honest with you. It's just not really my thing. Um. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even finish that sentence off properly. Because I immediately started laughing. It's not really my thing, I said. <laughs> the fitment is, is a little off here for me, so I'm going to bring those wheels out just a tiny bit. Slight bit of space, space ridge going on here. Um... I definitely want to lower this thing because I feel like it'll look much, much nicer once it's um, a little lower. Race transmission, that's fine. We'll adjust that as well afterwards. Um, I'll probably put a drift setup on this thing in the end. If you guys want to watch that, feel free to stick around and do so. Uh, but I just want to get this thing to, to actually just drive just as nice. But I want to be able to control this amount of power. Um, because obviously, once we finish upgrading this thing and maxing it out and seeing what sort of power we can squeeze out of it. Last but not least, the turbos, 1,328 horsepower, 1,144 newton meters of torque, 1,348 when it comes to weight. Um, it's really, really, it's really, really powerful. Obviously, the weight has changed as well. Gone from S1 to S2. Okay, we'll see what this thing handles like now. Uh, I still left it as rear-wheel drive as well. I do much more prefer to drive rear-wheel drive cars in this game than I do... All-wheel drive. I just feel like they're much, much better. 
uh, by the looks of this thing, could actually reach 300 miles per hour, if that graph is correct, and it actually will let me reach that, but I don't think it will. I think it, it, it will just get like a an actual block, pretty much, and I won't be able to, to get to that speed. Um, I'll leave everything the way it is, though, and uh, let's see what this thing sounds like now, once it's upgraded, and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's a little different. I need to get out of here. There's, there's way too much noise. Okay, it's definitely a lot. Okay, grip wise, it's better already. Oh, the turbos make that sound so cool. Wow. The turbos make it sound so, so nice. Still has a V12 sound. Still sounds really good from the inside, but now you just hear the turbo spooling up. It definitely skips a lot more. Like, it just, it wants to, like, find traction. Oh, okay. Okay, these, are, these tires are definitely better. I can already tell how much better this is at turning now. Oh my god. Front end lifting off the ground, but that's okay. Again, fully rear wheel drive, then I ended up changing this thing. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh god, okay. I wanted to see where my limit is when it comes to, to grip. But there it went. Crazy, crazy car to drive. Okay, I was gonna say, launching this thing really smoothly is definitely recommended. It revs way over 9,000, around 9,500, if not even more. Actually, what is. Wait, I can probably just do this, right? Let's have a look at my RPM there on the left side of the screen. 8.1, 8, 8.2, 8, 8.3, 8.4. Should I slow down a little bit so I can change down again? 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, like a lot of cars, so we'll see. Maybe this one has it as well, which it most likely will be. 274, pretty much. Pretty much 274, 275. It all depends on... My front end is just like off the ground a little bit. It all depends on, um, on the way this thing is built. There's probably like a better setup for top speed, but I'm just building this thing to, to just to drive it around and enjoy it. It's... Oh god. I'm trying to crash into that car. Um, traction is definitely a little bit of an issue with this thing. When it comes to the amount of power that it has. I was about to say, I'm just like drifting this thing just with throttle only. I wasn't even doing much. Yeah, putting your foot down in this thing just is crazy. It definitely just wants to keep going and going and going. Oh my god. There it goes. This is what it was like earlier when it was just like skipping across the road. Like it's just looking for grip. Mad. What a cool car. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time. I think I'm going to take this thing out sliding. Let's just see. Let's see what it's like. Right then. I'm here. Top of the mountain. The only thing I have changed on this thing is I changed my tires. So now they have, they're just pretty much just drift tires on it. Uh, I did end up changing, obviously, the drift suspension. And I did adjust my tune a little bit, obviously, so it's not going to be the same as when I was driving around normally. So this should be a lot more tail happy now. 
and hopefully I should be able to control it. So this is my first my first drive sideways with this thing. I still left it rear wheel drive by the way. But then I want to change this thing to all wheel drive. We'll see what the gear ratios are like. Again, probably will have to adjust those in the future, but Okay, it's not terrible. It's definitely got a stupid amount of power that it just doesn't need. Yeah, it's got a lot more power than it actually needs for, for doing a run down this hill. But again, like I said, I didn't touch the power, I just left it the way it was from when I was just driving this thing. Normally, okay. I guess fourth and fifth are my friends on this uh, on this run. Let's we'll see what that's like. Again, just throttle control is definitely needed. Definitely not one of those cars where you can just keep your foot planted, pretty much, and hope for the best. It's got way too much power for that. Handbrake like. Ooh, handbrake is good actually. Oh, I can slide this thing for days with the handbrake. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, weird. Fit actually struggling. Well, it's not struggling, but like the lack of grip. For the amount of power that it tries to put down. Maybe even go to 6th gear for some of these corners? Jeez. I did extend my gear ratios a little bit, by the way. But I guess I need to do it a little more. What's 6 like? It is a 7 speed, by the way. Oh, 6th is like... Oh, it's, it's not struggling, but it's... It is a little bit, trying to get those wheels to actually spin. Fifth is just perfect. Again, just adjusting throttle control. Constantly with this thing. I can't just like... Keep it flat out. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Oh god, somehow I continued to, to slide that. That was weird. It just feels so sketchy. That's what it feels like. That is the, probably the best way to describe this thing. It just feels sketchy. Because it, it feels like it wants to kill you immediately. <laughs> Every time you're in a corner. You give it too much power, uh oh, it's just, it's gonna spin out. You're flying off the side of this, this hill. Again, just control. Need a lot of it. Okay. This could possibly be good as an all-wheel drive, like, point drift build. I think you change the tire setup a little bit. And then adjust toe and camber a little more. And I think this could actually be very, very good to, to do some point drifting with. It definitely has the power. I need to ease off the throttle. I've just been going flat out for the last couple of minutes just to see what it's like. It's so shouty. It's really, really loud. Could be that my headphones are turning really loud, but... The car itself is super raspy and very loud itself. Again, with the right control, it's, it's very, very good. It's it's a crazy thing. 
If you're able to get the Ferrari Monza SP2, please get it, because it's, it's a crazy, crazy car to drive. Uh, it's very, very fast, and of course, it drives like it wasn't killing, like I said before. But it's lovely. It's really, really cool. I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this channel, then please subscribe, because it helps a lot. And, and, you help support the channel as well. Anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoy your day. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.